Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll go over the mask modifier. The mask modifier allows vertices of an object to be hidden dynamically based on vertex groups. There are two different modes. Vertex group and armature. When the vertex group option is selected, all vertices belonging to the chosen vertex group will be visible, and all other vertices will be hidden. Let's press Shift A and add a cylinder. Then, go to Edit Mode and add a loop cut by pressing Ctrl R. Firstly, select the top face vertices of the cylinder you want to add to vertex group. Let's go to Object Data Properties and add new vertex group. Name the vertex group as cylinder and press assign button. Now, select the loop cut vertices. But lower the vertex weight to 0.5 and press assign button. Then, go back to Object Mode and add Mask Modifier. Then, select the vertex group we have just created. Here we go. All vertices belonging to the chosen vertex group will be visible, and all other vertices will be hidden. But if we increase the trace hold to 0.5 or more, the loop cut vertices also will be hidden. Because only the vertices will be remain whose weights over this trace hold. If we increase this trace hold to 1, all vertices will be hidden. The invert toggle allows you to reverse this behavior, instead only showing vertices which do not belong to the vertex group. The second mode is armature. Let's add new cylinder and scale it little bit on the z-axis. Then, go to Edit Mode and add two loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R. Go back to Object Mode and press Alt Z to go to X ray mode. Then, press Shift A and add armature object. Let's scale up the armature a little bit. Go to edit mode. Press E key to extrude the armature. Then, go to object mode. Select the firstly cylinder, then hold down shift and select the armature. So, the armature will be active selection. Right click and go to parent and select the with automatic weights. Let's select the cylinder and go to edit mode. As you have noticed, it has made three vertex groups associated with the bones. Let's assign vertices to bones again.
Let's go back to object mode and add mask modifier to cylinder. Click on the armature mode and select the armature we have created. Now, select the armature and go to pose mode. When in pose mode, vertices belonging to the vertex group associated with the active bone will be visible. Vertices not in that group will be hidden. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.